Oh my god, Kane is green! <laughs> he doesn't even turn around when you turn him around. He's just perpetually looking in your soul. This is Green Kane, part of the green mod. We played this a bit ago for Green Isaac, and honestly, it was one of my favorite mods to date. Just the perfect amount of humor and, uh green. I've got an added a uh, ginormous update, a highly impressive, including a new green character. This is Green Kane. How you doing, dude? Say hello to the camera. I'm sure you have been the entire time. Well, isn't this thematic? Thanks for Abel. This character is highly interesting and, and so in-depth, actually. They start with pretty basic stats for uh, Kane, right? Low range, high speed, a little higher than usual damage. But they start with the green sack. Now, green sack's important because when I press it, also, I'll explain that coin in a second. But yeah, this menu what the hell is this <laughs> well i'll tell you uh if i press down you can see there's like a little one right there i have one slot machine to use i want to use a slot machine look at that i got one a green slot machine we can play it and it insta pays like it actually insta paid out <laughs> wait what okay first uh oh, what too much is happening. Did you just try and nuke me? The green slots, you can play a lot faster. You can see it paid out with a scent really fast. And it actually paid out with an item. It's dirty money. Enemies have a 10% chance to leave behind a green coin on death. This is a perfect segue. Thanks, video game. Yoinky doinky. Guess what? This is a green coin. Green coins do basically anything random when it comes to uh, plus or negative. It could even just do nothing. I could take this and get like minus five coins or I think I literally I stayed at seven. Is that what happened? Yeah, it could be anything. We also got this green super meat boy looking dude. He just exploded some enemies. That was pretty epic. Green coin right here. We actually lost money from that. Very cool. This guy is called a block bum. There's a bunch of different ones that you can get and they all come out from uh, slots and or beggars and they just kind of help you around. They uh, just give you a lot of familiar support. This guy specifically explodes. He's the bomb dude. He's pretty cool. I've lost so much money from green coins, it's actually terrible. Should I go for this? Sure. Reverse chariot, that's that's good. So when I press Q now, you'll see that I just don't have any slot machines left to use. In order to refresh your uh, sack and get a couple bit more uh, slot machines for yourself to use, you just have to simply beat the boss. And I believe on boss kill you get three? Yeah, let's say three. I'm probably right. There he is. Okay, wait, you can change the- What? Never in my life. Since when can you change the color of the the UI screen for the stage battle boss? Well, I guess that makes sense. Mom is red. Isn't that kind of weird? Now that you think about it, right? Like, Mom is the only boss in the entire game, despite being the most trivial final boss eventually. She has a colored name. No one else does. Well, my block bomb is gone and exploded. That's fair. He was destined to do that. There you go. So we got a lot of money, and this is used just so that we, uh, have an opportunity to use more sacks and now we see we have three of them. Let's take this range up uh, and I probably shouldn't have taken the soul heart just yet but let's go to the curse room it's okay. Ah uh, is this mom? Okay I think this is worth it actually hold on. If I can get mom's box that's good. None of these are green coins. So far my green coin luck has been pretty bad. I have been losing out every single time I take one of those but I just gotta take them dude. I would actually have that mechanic in an actual literal base game. I love the idea of a random coin. Oh there it is. Boom, one cent, epic. All right, let's go for real, for real. So the character is very, very in depth, right? Let's spawn a slot machine and see what we can do here. This time we get a green fortune teller. There's a green version for every single one of these guys. Is it literally glowing like RGB? That is insane. Excuse me, the level of quality on this mod is insane, dude. What? I'm not imagining that, right? That's actually turning into different colors. That gave us the flowering jade. It activates the green D6 effect. If you guys don't remember, uh, green D6 when we played green Isaac is basically just... It's a reroll, but you get a green item. Maybe we can make this guy pay out. We are going to get a lot of different uh, pickups for when you're doing this. There you go. What's the stick do? Activates a dull razor, so it's uh, a fake hurt, and then... Uh, spawns a block bump. Oh, okay. So what we could do actually is maybe something like this, right? We take fake damage, go in there, get the curse room going. Was it really worth it? No, but we got a block bump. It was about in here. How about I use the flowering jade in here and get myself a green item, right? Boom. Hot potato. That's a damage multiplier with speed up and touching an enemy makes you explode. It removes one hot potato. <laughs> what? Am I actually juggling? Oh, you know what? That sounds fun. Let's do it. There are new items in the mod as well. They've gone and added so many new things, dudes. It's insane. You may also be wondering, why is it that I have like three X's right here, right? I have the slot machines stocked on the bottom 
but those three X's on the left, right, and up really don't make sense. And that's simply because those three slots are actually for uh, conserving those specific pickups that we just had, like that flattering jade, right? Or those sticks. You can put them in the bag and save them for later. Can you blow these up? Is that uh, something I should know? You can't blow them up, and it seems like they just give regular rewards. Kinda just want to use Reverse Chariot here to Gatling Gun Clog down. Is this a bad move? I don't think so. I think I just go nasty here. Oh, nice. Smile it out, Green Cane. You deserve that one. Uh, definitely not going to go to the devil. That's also one of the reasons why they give you 7 cents so you can get more, right? Take the Biba's Juice and then let me uh, play that fortune teller that I blew up a second ago. What am I talking about? Let's go right now. Now here's a little dude I wanted to point out. Whenever there's a regular slot machine and or beggar, Green Cane actually has a cool interaction. You're green now. Green Cane turns every single beggar into their own personal block bum. This guy seems pretty fast. And every single slot machine just turns into their own green variant as well. Should we go crazy on the, the slot machine? You know what? Yeah, sure. We have five of them. What's that? Is that a blood bank, I presume? Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Green coinage everywhere. Another one. Boom. That's a normal slot. Okay, whoa! Another dirty money. I imagine these stack together, so now I'll have a 20% chance to you know, have an extra green coin on enemy death. Here we go. And then there's a fortune teller. This is where green cane starts to get pretty nasty, right? So this flower and jade, like I said, we could just walk into it while holding the sack. Boom. It's stuck in there forever. I can also save this one and the stick. Oh, what is that? Potato magnet. All green slot machines are activated twice for free? Oh, hell yeah. Hold on, wait a second. I, I see the vision already. I see how you're supposed to play the character. Don't touch that by accident. So we spawned all the machines here, and then we potato magnet. That is sick. Whoa, I got another potato magnet. Go again. Nice, dude. Don't forget the treasure room. I was so busy gambling all day. Hourglass. Well, those items were yucky. Yucky, yucky, ooh, nah, nah, I do not want. Was there ever a vegetable for you guys that, like, had you like that? What? My god, green cane as a ghost is unironically adorable. <laughs> I guess I never liked asparagus, I was always a spinach connoisseur. So whatever this boss item is, I'm kind of interested in maybe just green d6 rerolling it, right? Use those flowering jades I have stocked up in my green sack and put them to good use. They got marbles! It's an incredible, incredible, godly item, but I do exactly want to do what I just said, right? Grass clippings, cool. It's a speed up! Can I not reroll it a second time? Okay, just kidding, don't, don't do that kids, it's not worth it. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't ever use Flowering Jade twice in this single pedestal. Worst mistake of my life. I know, it's a very specific mistake, but just trust me. You don't want to do it. So here's the thing, right? Uh, we got perfection, and I have Mom's Box. Mom's Box doubles the amount of whatever, you know, trinket you have, aka a gold trinket. So we got our rock and 20 luck. This will not last. Do not get comfortable, I'll tell you right now. Oh, I don't know why I giga farted, but it must have been real bad. Ooh, wicked crown. Yeah, we don't need that. Let's just go fight this boss real quick. It's just blub. We did end up losing a lot of our block bums. It feels kind of lonely in here without him, but it will get some more. It's okay. It's important that we do this because as you saw, you know, Green Cane just held up the bag above his head. So now we have, uh, what is it, six? Yeah, well, that looks like kind of a, like a demonic number to me, but you know, I don't know. I had a question for you guys. This is something I've always done uh, when I used to rock the original soundtrack for Isaac. It doesn't even have to be the original soundtrack. But something I noticed whenever I was on floors in Isaac and listening to the music, right? Specifically, it was very apparent for me for Cellar. I would try and time the moving of me between rooms, right? In time with the music. So when like the music would hit a beat or something, I'd try to enter new rooms. I don't know if that's like me trying to immerse myself. It definitely worked. I 100% felt like a five-year-old just uh, crying through a basement with demons everywhere. I don't really know how to explain it. I guess I, I would just put it up on screen. It's the song that goes like, row, 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 you know, the really annoying like cellar one. Oh, mom's key high. Yeah, and other songs too in Isaac. I basically just try and time the beat for when I'm entering a new room because it feels like a new a new adventure. When I enter a new room, you never know what to expect. Uh, I just kind of walked in here and... Ooh, listen guys, that one doesn't count. I just walked in here. Ah, oh, it's gonna happen again! <laughs> no, do that to me. No, I couldn't spare the embarrassment. I was trying to say I kind of walked here and instantly took damage, and then I think my, uh, what was it? My backstab mom? What's it called? The the, mo the mob transformation, I believe. The knife uh, kind of triggered the bomb fly and I exploded and skill issued. For surely a, a Binding of Isaac moment. 
Oh, look at this, a shell beggar. So this guy will also turn into a block bum. Blop. You're now green, how do you feel? My goal is to become the richest man alive and then, oh, that helps. And then spend it all in one place, AKA my green slot machine. That kind of goes hard, green slot machine. Uh, we don't really need this guy, but we do have six enough hearts to- he's green now. I totally forgot that he's supposed to become green, my bad bro. Uh, this guy has a little fez, he's considered like a Judas, uh, block bum. He's a little bit slower and just does a, a little bit more damage than usual. This guy will turn into a key block bum. I believe he's unique and he just TPs to you or at some point during the, uh, the room, right? And we'll start shooting. There you go. So he TP'd onto my location and if there were enemies here, he'd be shooting them. So many cute little guys. We get conjoined here as well. So things are going pretty well for us. We get chaos. <laughs> Well, now that you mention it, I feel like I kind of want to. Yeah, we'll take it. I don't think there could be a single other trinket that I would want in the world right now, though. Counterfeit seems way too strong for what I'm trying to achieve. I want another, like, hot potato moment with a bunch of slot machines in a single place, and I just go crazy, right? In theory, it should be really easy with their birthright, but I can't just bank on birthright showing up. Tough love? Chaos, you are a beautiful boy. Me and my pixelated ass are gonna take care of you, carrying queen. You know, a lot of people praise the Retrovision rework, and I will say it looks a lot better than old Retrovision. For those of you that weren't here, pre-repentance. Uh, Retrovision used to be probably the worst thing uh, in the entire game. Excuse me? There's just no way. You just, you dropped that on the ground for me? Am I your favorite person? Thank you! Uh, you know what, let's use... To two of diamonds right now? No, 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 no. Let's save it. Let's save it for as many slot machines as possible, right? We are going to have the God Arcade, the FNAF Pizza Plexes of all arcades. And when I spawn all those slot machines, plus my birth rate, whew, it's gonna be beautiful. We are getting a lot of coins just from enemy drops as well. And I have to take them every single time. There's just no denying, right? I, I have noticed a lot better luck. My god, look how much money I just gained. Like, look at that. I'm so serious. The luck with counterfeit penny is so much better. I mean, by definition, that's how odds work. So I don't know why I'm so happy about it, but I am. <laughs> What about in here? Stigmata? I just take this, really? It's just a really good item. How long do you want to go? I guess until the chest? I don't know. I would do it rather maybe on like the cathedral, right? Yeah, let's set up our uh, pizza plex arcade at the cathedral. That's gonna be the the best place possible. That's where all the noble gamers go. You know, it is tough whenever I cough and I get small rock because now I can't comment on the fact that I got small rock because I cut out, I gotta cut off the cut. The cough was so disgusting. I just, it's not possible. Battery moment. Binding of Isaac Gaming versus Sister Viz. I'll oh, say less. You're done for. These guys used to be the cream of the crop, hardest video game boss ever. Now they're uh, not so hot. I believe they used to have boss armor. It was a crazy time back then. Well, give me this $3 bill. Uh, yeah, we just got a couple more floors and we're gonna slot machine this uh, all up. Necropolis. I always felt like Necropolis kind of uh, lackluster in terms of, of theming. Is that just me? It never bothers me to like the biggest degree. I don't I don't care that much. I just felt like depths is depths, right? So that's, that's normal. And then deck depths used to suck, like 100%. It was literally just the depths, but with glue enemies for some reason. Like, it was not different at all. But since Repentance came out, they really fixed uh, a lot of the feeling for dank depths. But that kind of left this, what in the, what is happening today? I can't speak. You keep hitting me with weird rare events and I can't get a sentence off. These gold hearts are pretty sick though, thank you. It just made it feel like Necropolis wasn't, touched up as much as it should have been, you know what I mean? Because it really wasn't. It was like all dank depths that got all love, right? What about in here? Poke Go! You know, or Poke Go. Maybe you just want to really annoy someone. Remember when poking was a thing on Facebook? I never really understood that, I was too young. Now, don't catch me complaining about this run because it's very powerful. But it's... my health is starting to dwindle. It's making me feel like I might want to start using my- OH! Nothing matters. Forget what I was trying to say. Don't worry about it. I got soy milk. I was gonna say maybe, oh, I should use the, the green sack slot machines that I have stacked up. I have 12, my god! But I think I can hold out just a bit longer before I'm forced to do something like that, right? Gotta remember, the moment I do that, I'm basically guaranteed for the floor to be chilling, right? 100 coins with that many slot machines. I got the birthright effect going, so I'm gonna be even more successful in my win rates. 
I'll probably get a bunch of hearts, a bunch of pickups, just I'll be carried for the floor. Let's take the damage up because I feel like I really need it. And then these have been pretty mid so far, but they're, it's, they're chaos from now on, so I can be kind of mad at that. That's my fault. So let's just move on. Yeah, we got to keep counterfeit penny here, dude. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll be okay. We went from goofy goober to a little bit, you know, oh, I wonder if we're going to do this or not. And I guarantee you by the end of this, we're going to have a, a wonderful time. That's just how these green characters go. Luke I. Is this Explosiva? This is a good uh, tier effect. Yeah, dude. Wow. I died instantly. We're at 18, man. This chest is going to be so nuts. It's like the spider baby. We're doing well so far. I did not get hit a lot there. I was not able to find any tinted rocks. Curse of Darkness made it kind of hard, but I'll be okay. Listen, if I can't beat It Lives on half a heart, like, that's just pathetic on my part. I have to try for my own ego at that point. I regret my decision immediately. Our DPS is okay. Our damage is good. Ooh, careful. Watch out for Brim. Kind of a tight dodge, but we got it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. There you go. Now let's go. Oh, wait. Hold on. Are there any more hearts? No. You know what? We're, we're going to spawn so many hearts. We're, we're good. This is the slot machine moment we've been waiting for. Okay. Let's spawn them all down. Maybe I shouldn't have put them all near each other? Possibly. However, it's okay. This is just how we're gonna do things. There you go. Immediately, two hearts. I, a, a god, I'm saved. There you go. See, we're fine. We even got the potato magnet immediately. Here we go. We're gonna break it. Wah! What do you mean you broke? Oh, would you look at that? Chance to break. Oh, I see. Well, that was fun. I haven't used this uh, weird gummy yet. Eh, there you go. Okay, we'll move along. I mean, I was correct in the fact that it's basically an immediate win for the floor, right? We did get full health in a matter of literal seconds, but the way that went down is less than ideal. <laughs> you know, I was actually in a, a voice call with Luis, my best friend slash sometimes editor, right? And just randomly, he was playing Minecraft. We were, oh! we were we were trying to play Tekken again, right? Because I mentioned that recently. And he was just he was just going randomly, just like shaka shaka ding ding. I was just thinking, like, what the hell? <laughs> Is this a thing now? People just say shaka shaka ding ding. Does that have to be show related? Can you just say it in voice calls and Discord just cause? I guess we're at that point. Shaka shaka ding ding, y'all. Here we go. There's a free block bomb right there. Blomp. Just kidding. It's a fortune teller. My bad. I definitely want to play it though. Let's just hold down and see what happens. Oh, potato magnet. You know what? I am, uh, I'm gonna wait on that just because I got PTSD from it exploding last time. Let's just literally use this fortune teller or slot machine again, sorry, <laughs> as much as we can. Ow, all right. Well, I didn't think the explosion would literally hurt me, but thank you. Okay, a little bit scary. Did I just see do it? No balls on my screen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't imagine that. Let's go to the dark room. Worst thing that could happen is that every single one of these is somehow like all a blood bank or something, right? There's a fortune teller. That's good. Blood bank and a slot. We get one of each. This I want the most because it's going to give me two golden keys somehow. Just looking for a little bit of hardage. Thank you. Now I kind of want to play the fortune teller because it has the unique uh, pickups, right? While I'm doing this, I'll also check what all of these have. My god, it's literally sci-fly. <laughs> Yeah, okay, dude. I mean, sci-fi shows up, we take. Let's use any of these. Are these good green items? What is this guy? I've never seen this one before. Gives six non-Euclidean apple orbitals. When one of them collides with a tier, all other apples will fire a copy of that tier. You know what? Sure. We get multi-dimensional apple. It's, it's crazy what's happening on my screen right now. I can't even comprehend. How about we do something like uh, this? And now that we've gone and healed up and taken a lot of stuff, I think we're good. Oh my god, Cracked Crown. Such a good trinket. I think we're good to go, right? Yeah, we, we should be okay. Just, uh, don't die. Oh my goodness me, what is a triple adversary XL room doing here? Okay, I got them both locked onto me. Careful of the left brimstone. There you go. Now move back up because this guy's gonna brimstone. Adversary used to be one of the worst bosses before you get used to them, right? They're kind of like a skill check boss IMO. Okay, well, you know, a squill, a skill, quote unquote. <laughs> My bad. I paid attention to adversary number two. I should have been uh, paying you know, attention to adversary number three. Every binding of Isaac Gamer knows that one. My fault. Now, when it comes to bullets, Sci-Fly will be saving my ass, right? No brimstone means no problemo. Oh my god, contact damage is up there though, be careful of that. I always get a little bit frisky whenever I fight the dark one, right? Because I try and get just like one more shot in. I know you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like dark ones charging you light, left to right or right to left. And you're you're just 
pressing away, you're shooting away, and you're just thinking to yourself, well, I could probably land one more before I have to step out of the way. You know what, Green Cane? You sure as hell gave me a goddamn challenge. <laughs> This has been the most cursed, weird, obscure experience in Isaac I've had in a while. You and your green smug looking ass. What do you mean this is the wrong way? <laughs> what kind of cruel monster would do that? I went like to Narnia and back just to come here. Oh my god, ow! <laughs> I actually have to like play really well in order to not die here a second time. Oh, shovel moment. I'll take this, 100%. Free item? Free item for heart? Yeah, okay. Mr. Me, alright. This is now a Mega Satan build. Let's try it, I guess? This is gonna be tough, dude. Do I just go for it? I could just go for it, right? Like, what if I just- What if I just diff Mega Satan right now and just redeem myself, actually? Well, that kind of heart damage is not gonna help. I kind of want to try for it. This could be a huge, major mistake. But, it could also be really fun. Well, this is for all the marbles. We're just gonna see if I can do it or not. And I'm keeping the lazy worm on me. I'm not taking it off. Green cane on the stage UI looks so awesome. Looking at Mega Satan, you're not gonna deal with me. I got you on lock. I am going to be so heavily reliant on Sci-Fly this entire fight. Oh my goodness. Quick, spawn a slot machine. Okay, first phase down. Not too bad. The, the tear effects were not bad. I have high speed, right? When it comes to dodging, it's okay. It's more just like my damage is pretty abysmal here. And therefore, I will probably get a hit if I don't kill things fast enough. Uh-oh, that's just no bueno. This is what happens when death lasts longer than uh, like five seconds on screen. You achieve scenarios like this. I, I, I'm still believing though, hold on. Back to you. Oh! <laughs> I don't know, I guess I'm just having a really good time playing video games today. I kind of turned off my brain, but you know what? I'm having fun. But can he bring it back? Is he the clutch master? Oh no! <laughs> Maybe, hold on. Uh oh, no, no, no. Ah! Oh, sorry, boys. Honestly, when I saw that it got an update, I got really excited because it's one of my favorite mods I've ever played. So I had a great time. Uh, thanks for subbing, and I hope you guys have a good day. GG! I'm streaming right now, and we're doing some crazy things on Twitch, so you gotta go there to figure it out. What?